Hi, in my last video I made a full detailed video about the CMF Watch 2 Pro but I have not tested uh, how accurate is it is when it comes to the professional pulse oximeter. I have this has the SpO2 sensor as well as the heart rate sensor. So today I will test the accuracy of the heart rate as well as the SpO2. So uh, as I told it was it is fairly accurate but it is time to show how accurate is this. So now I'm wearing the watch on the right hand and uh, let me wear the pulse oximeter on the left hand. So left finger, left hand's finger. So I'll be testing the heart rate as well as the SpO2 today. So let's uh, turn on the heart rate on this one. So this is pulse, sorry, this is uh, SpO2 and this is the heart rate. So let's test the heart rate first. I'm turning on the SpO2 sensor also. So let's uh, measure both of them side by side. Okay, um, I, I just uh, turned the screen to this side to show you guys accurately. Okay, on the watch it is showing 86, on the pulse oximeter it is showing 71. Let's wait for some time so both of them will uh, show the same results. Okay, both of them are showing 79, 80, 81, 82. So the right side you are seeing this is the beats per minute and this is the SpO2. I'm not testing the SpO2 currently. I'm testing the heart rate, but the heart rate is fairly accurate. Only one or two is there's a difference. Okay, now both of them are same. Okay, one minute. Okay, now this is 81 and on the pulse oximeter it is 82. Okay, as I said only one or two bpm is there's a difference but i would say nothing has done a very good job in when it comes to accuracy of the heart rate but so now let's uh, test the spo2 also uh, on the pulse oximeter it is showing 96 uh, percent so let's uh, check on the watch how much it will show so this is the spo2 uh, it is measuring now uh, for spo2 it will take some time to measure sorry i i did not hit the measure okay Okay, on the pulse oximeter it is showing 98% now and the watch it is showing 99%. So as I said only 1% there is a difference. I mean it, it, it just varies. So how much you are breathing. So your breathing is also uh, considered right. The more you breathe the more oxygen your body intakes and uh, there will be more oxygen in the blood. So that's how it will uh, test, right? That's that's what the SpO2 say, say SpO2 measurement is. How much oxygen there is in your blood? So if you are well oxygenated person, then there will be more percentages. On the watch, it is showing 99%. On the pulse oximeter, it is showing 97%. But if I hit measure again, I mean this is not dynamic as the heart rate, right? So since it is not dynamic, so the time it tested it was 99%. Uh, but as I said, there are one or two percent difference between these two. So I would say this is a fairly accurate. Uh, and uh, but I can hundred I can tell you hundred percent accuracy in the heart rate. It was hundred percent accurate, but there was no difference at all. I tested it multiple times. But on the SpO2 sensor, there are one or two percent differences. Okay, guys. So let's uh, see you in the another video.